Ginger, thank you. We begin with breaking news. Evacuation orders in effect for the ongoing line fire that has scorched more than 20,000 acres in San Bernardino County. KTLA 5's Annie Rose Ramos live now from Mill Creek with the latest. Annie Rose, good morning to you. Hey guys, good morning to you both. Well, we were here back on Friday when that fire had basically burned through about 500 acres. Now it has more than tripled in size. We are talking over 20,000 acres this morning. And you can see behind me those flames that you can see in the background coming off of those mountains, those ridge tops. That is what we can see from here from Mentone. But we want to bring in Brett, Brent Pasqua because you are with Cal Fire and you are going to give us a little bit more of an update as our viewers are looking at that fire continue to burn. We know it's only gotten bigger. Now we're looking at evacuation orders in place and the governor issuing that state of emergency. Where do things stand as of this morning? Right. Like you said, we're over 20,000 acres, yeah. but we still have lost no homes. Again, we have lost no homes, no structure damage. We're happy to report that and we like to keep it that way. Um, Last night we had our water dropping helicopters out again last night and the temperature did lower and the humidities came up, which helped firefighters tremendously. You know, we're looking at some of this fire in the background. Those are it's clearly that line of fire going up and down a mountain. Talk about the topography. This is in the forest where it's really tough, I would imagine, to fight this fire on foot. Right, so the topography is tough during the day, but even at night when you can't see, it's even more dangerous because it's so steep. Uh, you know, one one wrong step, it could mean disaster. Um, Want to get to evacuations. We know that this fire threatens over 35,000 structures, but that in turn means that a lot of folks going to be having to pack up and get, get out. Right, we have over 3,200 families that did pack up and get out. Right now, our priority is protecting their structure. As soon as that is accomplished, our next priority is getting them back home. Absolutely. You know, this fire, what, in terms of, of acreage, in terms of we know it's tough to see from where we're standing. We're looking at some images of the fire, um, of the evacuations. We know that there are a lot of communities surrounding the forest, though. We're talking about running springs. Um, we're talking about a lot of those areas. Wh which ones are really at the, at, at the most danger as of this morning? And that's what makes this fire so, uh, so extreme. Yeah. Uh, it not only has the t fuel topography, the weather behind it, we also have the thunderstorms that come in and make it unpredictable on where it's going to go. Uh, so we have to surround this fire on all sides. We can't just say, hey, look, it's going to go to the west and we know it's going to go that way. With the thunderstorms, it could blow it to the east that same day, which it did yesterday. So we just have to be prepared on all sides. You know, this is now ballooned into a massive amount of space that this fire is now covering. Talk about, I know you said over the night you were fighting this by air with the water drops. But talk about just how many crews we've seen them all out on the road. There's a sheriff's department as well, Cal Fire, fire departments from local cities. What are we talking about here? Who is fighting it on the ground right now? Right. We have crews from all over the state, yeah. over 600, and I believe that number's going up. We still have more crews en route. Uh, we have crews here from even Arizona, from out of state. So with that heat wave it's real important we get our crews that work rest cycle so they're able to put in good work uh, but they can't do it you know all the time yeah. all day long yeah. so we have to have a lot of crews here before we go I want to just touch on some of your biggest obstacles you mentioned the weather the thunderstorms we saw over the weekend incredible heat we already feel it right now before the sun has even come up what is going to be your biggest obstacles going into today Right, well, we're looking forward to that heat dropping. Uh, the biggest obstacle still remains those thunderstorms because again, until they happen, up until that moment, we don't know where the fire could potentially go. Yeah. So we just have to be on our toes. Yeah. Brent Pasqua, thank you so much for this morning's update here. Now, behind us, you can see, as Brent said, it's anyone's guess as to which direction that fire can go as it just keeps getting bigger here in San Bernardino County. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.